Hey everybody, PJ here. Trying to get myself run over. Uh, I'm just outside Immingham still, and I'm outside a company called. Hang on a minute, let me turn the camera around. Polyint. Polyint Composites at UK Limited. So let's go have a look, shall we? And see what's happening here. Now, obviously, it says they make some kind of composites. Oh, big jelly copter there, look. So, uh, let's go see if we can find out a little bit more, shall we? There's some bloody muck and stuff down here. Really is. Everybody's got the flags at half masts. So all visitors report to reception, it says. And it looks like reception is there somewhere. Yeah, that looks like reception. So let's have a look round. It's obviously, well you can smell it. i tell you what it smells like. Uh, if you've ever worked with uh, fiberglass, that's exactly what it smells like, fiberglass. Oh, it smells like the liquid that goes on fiberglass to, to make it set. But yeah, it's a fair old sized place, this. Like I say, I don't know what they do. But, uh, let's have a look. does look reasonably interesting. It's not as big as I thought it was. I thought it went back further than that. But they've got quite a few stillages full of stuff up there. So, uh, hang on, we've got somebody coming in. Here we're going into security now. Oh, just look over the top there. You can see one of the uh, ships at the docks. I don't know if we can get anywhere near the docks though. There's uh, security gates up there, so uh, you know we possibly can. We possibly can't. I don't know. We'll see sooner or later. But. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. definitely going to be a, how shall we put it, a port of call later. But yeah, I don't know what's up with this guy, I don't know why he ain't going in. But you can definitely smell that, uh, it's like a resin type smell. But we'll see, we'll see what's happening. And then... In a bit we'll get the old dread drone up and get a bit of aerial footage as well and see what's happening then. Is that a camera? Yeah mate. Can you stop filming me please? Off you go mate and then I can't film you. I'm not filming, I'm on public land. That's fine mate, I'm on public land, I'm alright. You just go in and I'll not film you. I must have got some filming, I don't want to film. That's fine, go in and you'll not get filmed. The longer you stood there, the longer you're on camera, mate. Just go in, you're fine. Stand there, bloody arguing, saying, I don't want to be filmed, I don't want to be filmed. Instead, just getting out of the truck, walking around the corner and going in. What kind of person is it? I really cannot understand the logic of some people. Anyway. Um, yeah, I am going to try and get a bit closer to the doctor if I can. Oh, the, um, the what's it's doing a bit of a run round. The, uh, 
shunting vehicle with a container on the back. I do believe somebody's walking around the lorry now. I'm not going to turn your face up. You're fine. That's fine. Why, why, why do you need to film back in the trailer? I was filming back in your trailer. It looks like you're about to put Oh, really? Can you help me? Yeah. Have you got any spare cash? No, because you're not supposed to be filming in... Who says that? Well, it's against the law because it's chemical sites. Who says it's that. against the law? What are you actually filming? No, who's, who says it's against the law? The law says it's against the law. What law is that, love? Oh. Can you quote it to me? What's your name? What's so your name? The place. What's your name? Never mind. You want my name? It's Mike. Mike Hunt. Some people make laws up as they go along, you know. Really do. You can smile, mate. <laughs> it's against the law. Because it's a chemical place. Okay. I think you're wrong, love. Do you know, it's the only place around Grimsby where anybody's uh, been a bit funny with me. All right, the security guard at the other place was a bit, you know. But uh, that was only for two or three minutes, and then when the other security guard come out, we were fine. It was. I don't think going to be like when I tell them I'm going to fly a drone over at top. They will break themselves then. Right, I'm going to get another couple of minutes, see if anybody comes out, and then I'm going to go and uh, going to go into reception. Oh, hang on a minute! One of the ships in the background's moving. See if I can zoom in. There he is, moving around. Hey, mate! Can I help you? You what, sorry? Can I help you? Oh, you got any spare cash? No, not particularly. Have you? Have I? Yeah. Never. No, I've got grandkids. Gate, filming, that was all. You are sorry? I was wondering why you're at the gate. I was filming. Ah, uh, make YouTube videos. Blimey, you've come out mob handed at me, haven't you? <laughs> well, I'm old. I'm deaf. I can't even hear. They're translating for me. They're translating. No security guy won't come out either. All oh, right. Okay. <laughs> what, are you a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber. I make YouTube videos. Ah, uh, okay. What content then? Just. Industry, I've just done uh, the big um, petrochemical place down the road, both of them, yeah. on Friday. They welcomed me on site and said, yeah, yeah, off you go. Just don't go past these gates here and you can have a wander around. And when I told them I was going to fly a drone over, they said, that's fine, just don't go over the top of the works. Because I know the laws of drone aviation, because our site manager does it. And I guarantee you that we've not said that to you. They've got LOR on refineries. Yeah, they said as long as I stay over the car park and don't actually go over the plant, I'm fine. So, you know. But yeah, no, they were fine. And then I've just been up to the gypsum place up the road there. Yeah. I've just done them. Uh, about 620, 625 videos I've gone at the minute. Yeah. Met loads of them. You're the second one today. Um, second of probably about three or four. Yeah. And I just go out and make videos and stick them on YouTube. Forty odd thousand people as subscribers and watch them all. So yeah, you know, 21 million views and all the rest. Oh, I'll have a look then. But yeah, rather you not film at our gatehouse, to be fair. Well, I understand that, yeah. but how else can I video your place? We'd rather not video the place full stop then. Well, I get that every, I every nearly enough everywhere I go. Yeah. Near enough everywhere I go. Uh, and I will be flying a drone over in a bit as well. Uh, I wouldn't. Why is that? Because of the aviation laws. In terms of, well, you have to get special permission to fly a drone to the roof over there, mate. No, you I don't. Fly a drone? We did, honestly, hand on heart. No, honestly, I don't. Right, well, fine. It's that's the case. That will be a police matter then. Because... You'll phone the police, my friend. It is yeah. uncontrolled airspace. It's on a flight path to Humberside Airport. Don't matter, it's still uncontrolled airspace right, here. There's no point in arguing because obviously you're not going to listen. Well, I can show it you on the map if you like. Fine, not a problem. Do you want to see it on the map? Not particularly because I know hey. the rules. Yeah, so do I. Recently, mate. So do I, my friend. Yeah, no problem. But uh, there will be a drone going up in about a quarter of an hour or so. Okay, so, that's uh, entirely your choice, but I can tell you the reaction will be to the site. 
You can tell me what, Sabi. I'll tell you what the reaction to the site manager will be, bear in mind he involved with it last time. And uh, To be honest, if the site manager do not like it, unfortunately, the site manager's not going to like it, and that's it. Well, it's more of a police matter than it is anything else, because, like I said, we've been told before that drones require special missions, 400 metre exclusion zones around flight paths, everything else. No. So, if you're no. saying no, that's your entire thought, but I'll no. tell you the reaction. But no, you're, I can fly. You're, you're, fl you're not on private ground, you're on public road, so. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Reason, but. I know that. Well, go and tell him it's going up anyway, and see if he wants to come and have a word with me, he can do. I'll hang around for 10 minutes before I, I put the drone up. No worries. And, uh, you know, from there, you know, things will get started. What's your name, my friend? Your first name? Steven. Sorry? Okay, Stephen. Stephen. What yeah. do you do, Stephen? Engineer. Engineering manager, yeah. all right. And these are your two bodyguards, are yeah, they? Your bodyguards. <laughs> all right, okay. Yeah. All right, yeah, exactly. Are you any good as a bodyguard? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, it's dead easy when we hack and run like shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. You're all right. No. Yeah. No. When I say I can run like shit, I mean like four Where mile an hour. Up Where road. Just up road. Oh, on the on the gas verge. Yeah, yeah. I don't walk far. No, don't right. These legs are old. What's your YouTube channel? PJ, PJ. Audits. PJ. PJ as in I'm going to put my PJs on. I don't come out in my PJs because I don't wear them and you you would definitely phone the police then. Yeah. Uh, and then audits. Be a shift change over a bit, so be a lot of traffic coming in, so if you are still stood there, just watch yourself on the road. Oh, don't worry, I know how to deal with traffic. Yes. I spent... 17 years teaching people how to drive lorries and buses and fork trucks and heavy plant cranes, 360s, etc, etc, etc. And then I was a driving instructor in cars for many years before that. Yeah, yeah, I'll still be here. Don't, but don't worry, I'm not coming on site. I'm not going to make a dash for you. You're all right. Not unless you go to canteen where I can get a cup of coffee and then I mind. There isn't? What's your establishment? No coffee and no canteen. Right then, everybody, here we are, Pollint. And there's a, a big smell of resin around this place. So let's have a look. There's not much to the left here. It's all, uh, all offices and things. Are they solar panels? Yeah, they're solar panels. Woo! I think. No, no, let's go forward a bit. Let's come down a bit and let's have a look. No, they're not. Yeah, oh, disappointed. Really disappointed. I thought Pollint had had them, had got some then. Not many around here, got solar panels for some reason. So, uh, anyway, let's have a bit of a look around the site. There's definitely a smell of resin around here. Now, I just spoke to somebody and he says, it's a smell from the petrochemical industry, but no, that's definitely some kind of resin that I can smell. So, we've got silos and things around here. What have we got there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we've got another bank of six, and then a bank of. A bank of five, loads of product along the back wall there. Thought that was a walkway at first, but no, it's not, it's pipes. And as you can see, that there is the River Humber, and there are the docks. But unfortunately, we can't get anywhere near them. So, um, we'll have a look around here a little bit more. 
and see what we can see. Just want to have a look around, make sure I can't hit anything. Looks like there's been something here before, look. Looks like they've knocked old buildings down beforehand. So it was obviously something else before it was this site. You can obviously see it's a, some kind of chemical plant. You know, there's silos and pipes and stuff all over the place. And it's got that smell about it. So yeah, there's definitely uh, definitely chemicals in. Now whether they're petro type chemicals or not, I don't know. But definitely uh, quite a few chemicals about. Right. But all the stuff's stacked all the way around the edge of the yard, as you can see. Oh, I've got a couple of big tanks there. One of them's open-topped. I don't know what's in it. So we'll go and have a look. Oh, and look at Crane. And is it a, are they doing some kind of construction? Is it a crane? No, it's not. It looked like a crane. It's some kind of pipe. I don't know where that leads. And then we've got a, uh, a silo with some kind of liquid in it, so... Right. Let's have a look at getting back, shall we? Oh, there's that good-looking fellow, look. There he is. There's my baby. All the way down. Right, that's the end of this video. I can't see the po the pollint <laughs> coming here. Yeah, I can. Of course I can. <laughs> Just me being silly. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share. Please subscribe. And guess what? I shall see you in the next one. Bye, everybody. See you soon.